Finally, some good news for Boeing and a notable update from involving the 737 MAX. But the biggest news is that the first customer, 777-9, aka 777X, has taken its first flight today and is completing its testing before it is delivered to the first 777X customer. With Lufthansa slated to become the very first airline to take delivery in 2026, once US FAA certification is completed. The 777X family includes the ultra-efficient 777-8 and 777-9, with typical two-class seating of about 395 passengers on the 777-8 and 426 on the longer 777-9 plus folding wingtips that improve aerodynamics while still fitting at standard gates. Certification process has experienced multiple delays. Test flights were paused in mid-2024 due to structural issues and resumed in early 2025, but Boeing remains confident delivery will begin in 2026. The launch customer milestone for Lufthansa follows broader industry interest. Over a dozen airlines have ordered nearly 500 777X jets so far, including sizable commitments from Emirates Qatar. Let's continue with the American aerospace giant. After enduring a tough half decade, Boeing is starting to see meaningful progress, both financially and operationally. In its second quarter results, Boeing reported revenue of $22.75 billion a major 35% year-on-year jump and nearly $1 billion over expectations. What's more, despite years of financial struggles, the company narrowed its losses significantly. In the second quarter alone, Boeing delivered 150 aircraft to customers, a jump of over 50 jets compared to the 92 delivered during the same period last year. That figure also marks Boeing's highest quarterly delivery total in more than five years, despite the FAA still placing production limits on the popular 737 MAX. Boeing's net loss came in at $176 million, which might seem grim at first glance, but it's a dramatic improvement from the same quarter a year earlier when losses exceeded $1 billion. As CEO Kelly Ortberg told staff, change takes time. And Boeing's finally seeing the payoff from a massive internal transformation following last year's 737 MAX door blowout incident. That event put Boeing's culture and practices under intense scrutiny, but it sparked one of the most public and sweeping overhauls in the company's history. Boeing has since pumped hundreds of millions into improving training, accountability, and transparency across the board, and it's beginning to pay off. That's encouraging not just for Boeing, but for the entire aerospace sector. The company sees 2025 as a critical turning point, a year to truly get back on track and enter 2026 in the strongest position it's seen in more than a decade. There's still work ahead, but Boeing's reduction in losses is proof that its new strategy is delivering results. Yet the path back to the so-called glory days will take time. The goal is clear. Rebuild step by step. Ortberg emphasized that if Boeing stays focused on safety, quality and stability will follow. Supply chain constraints remain a challenge, one shared by rival Airbus, but managing them will be key. The Commercial Airplanes Division is also working closely with the FAA to lift the cap on MAX production, which has been limited since early 2024. Boeing recently ramped production back up to 38 MAX jets per month and hopes to reach 42 by year's end. Alongside that, there's a push for stability within the 787 program. However, delays are still looming for some variants like the 737-7 and 737-10, as recently reported by multiple sources. On the wide-body front, the 777X appears to be moving forward more confidently than it has in years, with 2026 still targeted for certification. Now shifting to United Airlines, which has just signed a fresh agreement involving the 737 MAX family. The airline has struck a deal with leading lesser Dubai aerospace enterprise, DAE, a government-owned firm based in the UAE. 
This agreement includes 10737-9s in a purchase and leaseback arrangement. Deliveries are set between August 2025 and February 2026, helping United boost capacity amid delivery delays. DAE's CEO said they were delighted to reach this deal with United, calling it an extension of their recent A321 Neo lease agreement with the airline. DAE has been increasingly focused on the US market, and this latest move highlights its long term commitment to expanding within it. The lease terms are long range, meaning the MAX jets will remain part of United's fleet for years. Globally, DAE now works with 200 airlines across 85 countries. Though headquartered in Dubai, the lesser operates offices in cities like Miami, Dublin, Singapore, and Seattle, among others. Let me know what you think of both stories in the comments, especially Boeing's turnaround, which finally brings some positive headlines. Thanks for watching, stay safe, and I'll see you tomorrow.